Indian startups are a massive opportunity. Last year in 2021, more than 40 Indian startups became unicorns. And some of these billion dollar valuations meant massive ROIs for these startups investors. Now, in the past, these investors consisted almost exclusively of VC firms, and sometimes angel investors with an entrepreneurship background. But these days, the profile of these angel investors is changing a bit. We're starting to see other types of angels making investments into Indian startups. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 Bollywood actors and actresses that have made investments into Indian startups and also startups outside of India in the last couple of years, coming up right after this. So starting things off at number 10, we have Varun Dhawan. Varun is one of the highest paid actors in the country, and he ventured into the world of entrepreneurship with the launch of his own clothing line called Dhawan and Only in 2018. Then in 2021, he started his journey as an angel investor by funding a nutrition supplement brand Fast and Up. Following this, early in 2022, Varun also invested in multi-brand cloud kitchen startup Cure Foods and became the brand ambassador of their flagship brand, Eat Fit. Next up at number nine, we have Malaika Aurora, who is known for her fashion and her healthy lifestyle. So back in 2019, she kicked off her entrepreneurial journey with an investment into yoga and wellness startup Sorva, while also taking up the role of co-founder. Then in 2021, she launched her own delivery-only food brand called Nude Bowls on food delivery platform EatSure. Since then, the actress has also launched Malaika Aurora Ventures to invest in startups in the lifestyle, health, and wellness markets. And she's also invested in D2C Ayurvedic nutrition brand Kapiva, while also becoming their brand ambassador. Moving into number eight now, we have Akshay Kumar, who is the only Indian actor to be featured in the top 10 Forbes richest actors of 2020 list. He made $48.5 million that year and has worked in the Indian film industry for over 30 years. In 2009, he was honored with Padma Shri, which is India's fourth highest civilian award for his contributions to Indian cinema. And in that same year, he launched his own production company, Hari Om Entertainment. Then in 2012, he launched another, Grazing Goat Pictures. So he has a decent amount of experience as an entrepreneur. And Today, he's using his expertise and wealth to fund Indian startups. In 2019, he invested an undisclosed amount in wearable fitness brand Goki, while also becoming its brand ambassador. And then in 2020, he, along with fellow actor Rana Dagobati, launched celebrity-led online learning platform Social Swag. Coming in at number seven now, we have Anushka Sharma. She and her brother Karnesh Sharma entered the world of entrepreneurship in 2013 with the launch of a production house called Clean Slate's Film. And then in 2017, she launched her own clothing brand, Noosh. She served as a brand ambassador for a number of companies over the years too, and today she's funding Indian startups as an investor. Back in 2020, Anushka and her husband Virat Kohli invested 2.5 crore rupees into InsureTech Unicorn Digit Insurance. Then earlier this year in 2022, Anushka and Virat also invested in plant-based meat startup Blue Tribe. Next up at number six, we have Alia Bhatt. In 2022, according to a Duff & Phelps report, Alia Bhatt was named the fourth most valuable celebrity brand in India, with a valuation of $68.1 million. In 2020, she launched her own environmentally friendly kids wear brand Edemama and was able to grow Edemama 10x in the first 10 months, reaching a valuation of 150 crore rupees. All the way back in 2017 though, she was investing in Indian startups. Her first investment was into an online personal styling platform called Stylecracker. Then in 2020, Alia invested 4.95 crore rupees into omni-channel beauty and wellness marketplace Nika, which was one of her most successful investments. That 4.95 crore rupees had turned into 54 crore rupees by the time Nika went public. Then last year in 2021, she invested an undisclosed amount into D2C wellness startup Fool. Moving on to number five now, we have Priyanka Chopra. She's won multiple awards throughout her career, including Padma Shri in 2016. And like many of the names on this list, Priyanka launched her own production company called Purple Pebble Pictures in 2015 to promote small budget regional films. Last year in 2021, she launched a restaurant called Sona in New York. And earlier this year in 2022, she launched a vegan hair care brand called Anomaly in the United States. She made her first investment in 2018 into a college alternative startup called The Holberton School. And that same year, she invested in online dating startup Bumble and also helped them to launch in India. And she also invested in online apartment listing marketplace apartment list as well. Coming in at number four now, we have Farhan Akhtar. 
So Farhan actually began his journey as an entrepreneur before he started his career as an actor and as a director. See, back in 1999, Farhan, along with Ritesh Sidhwani, had set up a production company called XL Entertainment. And it was under this production house that he made his directorial debut with a 2001 film called Dil Chata Hai, and then as an actor in 2008 with Rock On. Over the years, this production house has released a bunch of successful movies. And so now, Farhan is able to use some of his wealth to support other Indian entrepreneurs. In 2016, he made his first investment into film discovery app Flickbay, then into Indian beer brand Vero91, and then more recently in 2021, Ola Electric. Next up at number three, we have Amitabh Bachchan. Having spent 50 years in Bollywood, Amitabh has acted in more than 200 movies throughout his career and he's won numerous awards too. However, many people now forget that there was a time in the 90s when things slowed down a bit in his acting career and Amitabh had to take things into his own hands by launching a production and event management company called Amitabh Bachchan Corporation in 1995. Their first year of operations was successful and profitable and so the company grew ambitious but ended up in debt and went bankrupt in 1999. And Amitabh himself almost went bankrupt too in the process, so he understands very well the struggles and challenges of being an entrepreneur, which is one of the reasons why he's been so active as an investor. Back in 2011, Amitabh invested 6.27 lakh rupees into JustStyle and saw a 100x return. His investment was worth 6.45 crore rupees in 2013 when the company went public. In 2019, he followed this up by investing in an edtech startup called EduS Fun, and then in 2022, he funded a merchandise startup, Macmurai's Kelfi Design. Moving on to number two now, we have Sumail Shetty, who has been working in India's film industry for over 30 years. He's been an actor in over 100 movies and began his entrepreneurial career with the launch of a clothing brand called Mischief, which he started with some friends. He ended up shutting that down a few years after it was started, but kept the brand name alive with the launch of his own restaurant, Mischief Dining Bar, along with Club H2O in Mumbai. Since then, he's launched multiple successful businesses, including a production company, Popcorn Motion Pictures in 2002, a luxury homes real estate estate business, S2 Realty and Developers, and a luxury furniture and home lifestyle business, Our House, with his wife, Mala Shetty, in 2013. Using the wealth that he's brought in from his career as an actor and as a business person, Sunil has been able to invest in a number of Indian startups, including fitness platform Fitter in 2019, health tech startup Viroots and EdTech Venture Sci Estate Management and Skills Institute in 2020, and protein water brand Aquatine in 2022. And then finally, coming in at number one, we have Deepika Padukone. Apart from her acting career, Deepika launched a clothing line for women in association with Van Heusen in 2013. Then, later on in 2015, she launched her own fashion brand, All About You, in collaboration with Mintra. And she ended up selling this brand to Mintra in 2020 for an undisclosed amount, and is now using her wealth to build a robust startup investment portfolio. In partnership with investment banker Nitin Kanchan, she founded KA Enterprises in 2017 to streamline all of her investments. In the first 18 months of setting up KA Enterprises, Deepika invested in furniture rental startup Ferlenko and beauty brand Purple. Since then, she's invested in seven more startups across multiple domains, including space tech startup Bellatrix Aerospace and yogurt brand Ebigamia in 2019, electric ride hailing startup Blue Start and online learning platform for non-academic skills Front Row in 2020, and online pet store Super Tales and D2C women's wellness brand Nua in 2021. All right, that was our list of the top 10 Bollywood actors and actresses that have invested in Indian and international startups. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.